Welcome to this review of CoSpaces. In this video, I'll describe what CoSpaces is, talk about some of the terms that may not be familiar to everyone, talk about the criteria in which I use to evaluate this software, and then discuss concerns that you might have using this web-based application. CoSpaces is a mixed reality web-based application that allows users to create and engage with interactive media content. Users can create virtual reality content, augmented reality content, develop interactive content using visual programming language, and create simulations. I'll review a few terms that I just introduced. Virtual reality is an immersive digital experience in a simulated environment. Plainly speaking, it's very much like a video game, but just a bit more intense. If I had to compare it to another situation, I would say it's like driving an RC car versus driving an actual car. Augmented reality is overlaying digital content over the real world. One example of this is Pokemon Go. Mixed reality is a combination of virtual and augmented reality, and this is more pertaining to devices that can operate in both capacities. Visual programming language allows users to create programs graphically rather than textually, as is typically done with programming language. This approach can help reduce time in troubleshooting and frustration in programming. To describe 360 photos and video, I'll first contrast it with a typical camera. Standard cameras take a photograph and capture life in one direction. A 360 camera can actually capture life in all directions. I'll now review the evaluation criteria for this web-based application. Regarding cost, there are two tiers. There's a free version and then a pro version. The pro version costing $105 for the license for one year. Access scored quite high as they have a desktop and mobile version of the software. Ease of use has scored three out of five stars. Not so much for the 3D modeling aspect, but for the visual programming, this may take a little time to, for students to grasp. I see a lot of potential for the impact on student learning. Accessibility is an issue with this web-based application. Using a screen reader, I did have difficulty navigating the space. Class size is limited to 30 participants, including the teacher. CoSpaces is compliant with COPA and FERPA. A major consideration before adopting CoSpaces is accessibility. If CoSpaces were to be utilized, we would recommend that students work in groups, self-assess their strengths, and select their roles for production. This allows for agency rather than exclusion. For example, a person who is blind may not be able to play the final product. They would be able to take on the role of designing game mechanics or developing the audio for the game, 